The Ed Anthony Show is back on Sirius XM. Hope you're having a good morning, whoever you are. All these years later, I just find it extremely strange to talk into this and somewhere someone's listening. It's so bizarre. What else we got going on today? What is in the old snoozeroonie? I want to thank Obama. He's on the front page of the paper today. Yeah. My greatest fear, Manhattan nuke. Thanks. Yeah, a little atomic bomb in uh, New York. That's That's in the back of all of our minds. Anyone that lives in New York, anyone that lives around New York, yeah. Long Island, Staten Island, you know the places. We all have it in the back of our heads. We didn't need to have have the president say it. Well, this is uh, our, our very contradictory president of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama. Right. Uh, he, he brings this up because a question was posed to him by the press. It said, hey, Romney, during the, uh, the debates for president, said... That um, uh, geo, our, our biggest geopolitical enemy uh, or concern mm. uh, should is Russia. Mm. And um, now, and then Obama said something like, you know, oh, the 80s called and want their uh, foreign policy back. Right. Oh. Uh, look out. Oh, snap. But then it turns out Russia, you know, trying to annex uh, parts of the Ukraine. And, uh, you know, it, it, it doesn't seem like he'll stop Putin. He's, he's got... Uh, He's got, he's got the world by the balls right now. He knows the United States is weak, uh, weak leadership. Uh, military's being cut like crazy, so there's no real threat to him. Right. Um, so, so Obama was asked, "Hey, Romney said uh, that uh, Russia is a, is a problem. Uh, do you agree with that now?" And he's like, "Well, they're kind of a regional thing, Russia. Like, kind of blew off the whole thing that he's he's annexing uh, part of the Ukraine." And uh, and then after all the shit he said about Al Qaeda not being a threat uh, during uh, the election, and then he says, uh, "Well, our biggest problem is a nuke in New York City." Right. <laughs> so, what what does he mean? <laughs> which which one does he mean? <laughs> I don't know. Is I, is, I, is is are we still under the threat of uh, Muslim fucking terrorism, or or not? And right. is Russia a big problem or or not? <laughs> is he deflecting a little bit? I think he's he's spent uh, the past uh, six years mm. deflecting and deflecting. That's all he does. Now with this Obama, yeah, I know what you're going to say, which is fine. No, I'll give it. I'll I'll use an try, open mind. Try. Is he that piece of sh- what? Is he that bad of a president? Yeah. Or is the system being exposed? I think he doesn't know how to work the system. I think he's that bad of a president. I don't believe... You think other guys would be able to, you know, work it better in Washington? Politically. He's not good at playing politics. He was one of those dumb community leaders. Yeah. And uh, I don't think he's got much experience on working with people in the system. And I I think he's got these Those old workarounds. He He doesn't know how to do a workaround. I think he's got these delusions that he's able to weaken the United States in the world's eye, and that will make people like the United States more. Because wow. we're not like the the big dog anymore, you know? Right. Well, um, that's going to take a long time if he really believes that. But but it, it doesn't work that, that way That would take either. generations, I think. If it worked at if all. If it worked at all, right. That's I not think a quick it's, thing. I think it's very detrimental to the U.S. to yeah. not be a strong country. Uh in a lot of ways, with a strong leader and strong military. I mean, you look at what what uh, uh, Afghanistan and, and Pakistan has been doing uh, shenanigans on us mm. of late, and it's uh, one of the biggest reasons is it, he doesn't he doesn't have any lines of communication open with these people. Right. It's just kind of he's not a strong leader, and 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 you could talk about what you could do after Putin does his things. And it's like, well, you can't really do anything. You could you could uh, put sanctions on him and whatnot, but what are you going to invade? No, obviously. But the the point is to not let him get to that 
point in the first place. Mm -hmm. And to do that, it takes very strong leadership. And um, uh, it's not so much us. We are not really affected as much as our allies are in, in Europe. They see shit like that and they're like, oh, great, you know. We fucking, the Soviet Union breaks up. We go from Warsaw Pact country to NATO countries. And you guys don't seem to give a flying fuck what this guy does anymore. Right. So it just looks bad. I don't know. And I, but I also like Jimmy's point of, you know, don't fuck around with anything over there. Yeah. Who gives a shit? Not Let's take business. care of our own problems. But unfortunately, we are on this globe with a lot of other countries and, and we have to interact with them. Yeah, uh, I want the old Soviet Union. I really do. I want a powerful oh, yeah, Soviet yeah. Union. I like the fact that the rest of the world has such a hatred of the U.S. Yeah. It's okay. Let them let them right, do right. what they want. Now you guys then, will go. Then oh, you right. deal with them. Yeah, you deal with them. You don't want to be nice and deal with us. You deal with you them. You deal with the Russians. Yeah. <laughs> Good for them. Yeah, I'm, they don't I'm, really... I really mean that. Good for Putin. He doesn't give a fuck what the United States says, and he shouldn't. It's not our business what he does or how he runs mm -hmm. his country. Boy, I sure hope my trader isn't listening today. Oh boy, he's why? From, he's from the Ukraine. He sees it. The very Ukraine is weak. Well, of course he does. He's I mean, not happy with the situation. I don't blame him. Oh, boy, I'm going to tell him it was all Jimmy. Yeah, yeah but you I nodded. <laughs> <laughs> Even now, look at Opie's nodding and smiling and pointing at the fucking trainer's picture. Yeah. He's from the Ukraine, and boy, he's all in. He's Ukraine. He is all in watching what's going on. Yeah. Let's see how much of the Ukraine will be left. I'm learning a little <laughs> bit about the Ukraine through him, I guess. I don't know. Mm. I think the West is better than the East or something, according to him. Oh, yeah. Or is that because he's from the West? That's probably know. why they love saying that. Well, it's much that. better. Yeah. Uh, what does this have to do with emu eggs, though? Emu eggs? What are they doing with those? The restaurant community is getting just bored. Are they? Because at this point, every day they're finding stuff that we decided a long time ago we don't want to <laughs> eat. We didn't want to yeah. eat it, and now they're they're bringing it uh, back <laughs> to say, "No, man, you got to give it another try." It's great stuff. Yeah, it's awful. It's big, blue, and being gobbled up by adventurous diners. Mm. Introducing emu eggs, New York City's latest. Uh, dish du jour. And what is so special about that? It's five and a half inches long, three and, three and a half inches wide, and it equals 10 to 12 chicken eggs. That's a pretty dozen big. dozen eggs and one fucking egg. That's so why amazing. why weren't we eating emu eggs before now? Because they probably taste like dirt. Exactly. Uh, Plus they're blue. Yeah. Let's get one big emu egg. Yeah, and break it. Have at Step it. Step on it. <laughs> <laughs> Smash it. <laughs> Smash it. Yeah. The hammer. Make an omelet. Yeah. Uh, it's good? something that people have never tried. Something that people have never seen. Yeah. You know what the new snack is, too? Like a really fancy uh, one. It's emu eggs. And there's also the one where they take ostrich semen <laughs> and they spread it over the sweaty brim of a baseball hat. And you just lick it out. <laughs> you lick it out that way? Yeah. Must have dried. Delish. It is. <laughs> it weighs what two pounds. Would you eat a two pound egg? No. Not at all. That is uh, uh, that's no. a lot of egg. Uh, let's see. You, they present it to the table whole and uncooked on what he calls a little nest of fresh uh, ugh, spices. Ew. Mm. Spices that pinch your ass. Whole and uncooked. And such. Yeah. Uh, what? Ew. That's got to be slimy. I don't know. You eat it like raw? That's oh. disgusting. Uh, Poor that's... emu's in there. Popped his head out. What are you doing? It's my house. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Is it going to hatch? Explains Allison, 43, a fitness instructor who lives in Maplewood, New Jersey, when she first saw it. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, that's a as, run she, on as she inserted thing. it into her snatch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a dope this broad is. What if some bird came shooting out? She jokes. Oh, she joked. Okay. She jokes. Does understand. All right. It's okay. The birds and the bees. Doesn't she understand? Mm hmm. It, so then they take it, they show you, and then they take it back into the kitchen. He mm. cracks it open on the kitchen counter, as you might with a normal chicken egg, albeit with more caution, and into a mixing bowl. You have to be careful. The shell is pretty thick, but it's not ostrich egg thick, says the chef, oh. who loves working with exotic eggs and has also had turkey, ostrich, duck, and quail eggs on the menu at various points. What makes chicken eggs like the ones we decided? Like, that's, those are the ones we oh, that, That's the shit. They're easiest to kill, too. Are they? Yeah, yeah they're so just dumb, dumb chickens. Just running in a circle. I guess they were easier to... to Keep and domestic, not domesticate, but keep on a farm. Yeah, chickens. If you got a bunch of emus running around, they're too oh, big. Wants that. You got to feed them too much to to keep them alive. It's probably not worth mm. the feed for the egg that you get out of it. 
Mm. Chickens must be more economical that you get more out of them than you put into them. Plus, the way they a lot of times get these birds is they'll put an ad like on back page, birds needed for modeling shoot and chickens fall for it. <laughs> do they always fall for always. it? Always. Those dumb chickens. Yes. What do, they, what do they think they're modeling? I don't know, but they want to be stars. Chickens are really hams, as, as ironic as <laughs> that sounds. Which is very ironic, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm reading this whole article just to so find out stupid. what it tastes like. Does it Hoppy. just taste like an egg? Tastes like chicken. <laughs> what does it taste like? I just... don't know. And then the same uh, chef has a uh, has a Game of Thrones dinner. Oh, no. Part of a I did go BY... around stab you afterwards. Yeah, served by a midget. <laughs> <laughs> Part of a BYOB, guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. <laughs> What's the B? Oh. Okay. Uh, I don't know what it tastes like. I guess it just tastes like fucking eggs. It must just eggs. taste like a gamey egg. Scrambled eggs. Scram what, what does it taste like? That's all I care about. What's in the Game of Thrones dinner? It was very rich and very decadent. Decadent? It's a bit on the creamy side. I don't think it I want my eggs to be creamy. It is very succulent. Even a more succulent than I thought. <laughs> succulent. They bring the whole article together with this. Yeah. She just has one regret after trying the emu egg. Uh huh. We should have asked to keep the shell. Ah. <laughs> uh, What's she putting it? A little fun for everyone. You know. It would smell. Yeah, I saw somebody carve something very lovely out of a ostrich egg on television. It was a swastika. Yes, it was a, <laughs> yes, a swastika. <laughs> Use a little Dremel tool and stuff, and made a very cool like lattice work on it. Oh, it was beautiful. <laughs> It was. No. <laughs> yes. Oh, we did you have a chip joke? <laughs> oh no. That is what. Some tomatoes and <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> you fucking retard! I love it. God damn it! <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> <laughs> hmm. Oh boy. I want to ask this uh, guy that's supposed to jump off of uh, Mount Everest, Everest there, uh, and he's wearing one of those like glide suits. Those... Oh, he's going with that. I oh. think that's what he's doing. Wait, is there? Oh God, I hope I, uh, I, I, I guess I sound dumb on a regular basis, but why, why? is there enough air for that suit? That's what my question is. Yeah, the air is very thin. Up now, there. if if you know, if you're trying to get away from a structure when you're base jumping or something like that, right? You need the lift. You need to get <coughs> away from it, right. and to do that. You need like the wings to to push you away. If there's no air, uh, how does he know it's going to work? I don't know. That's why we interview these guys. How he really is going to use one yeah. of those. Yeah, he's going to use one of those fucking wingsuits. And what happens with the wingsuit? How do you fucking land eventually? Well, you got to have a parachute. Yeah, but you can increase your forward, wow. the ratio of forward movement to uh down movement. Who figured out the wingsuit? Someone had to try it for the first time. You're year. still falling a lot faster <laughs> no, I know. I, down I, I than you're it. going forward, right. but you could really get some good but forward speed. You've seen the wingsuit videos on YouTube, right? Oh, yes. Where yes. they come yes. flying over the guy's head? Yeah. How the fuck they figure that out? I don't know. Or going through like a, a chasm, a or, chasm or, or something? Or, 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 or cutting real close to the side of a mountain. And they know they, they got it? Mm, There's better. one where his friend's waiting down the hill and he's got the camera and you see this yeah. fucking thing go flying over his head. It seems like a couple Easy. feet tops. He's going up. It looks like a so hundred miles an hour easily. Can you yeah. find that one? I know that that's all I got on it. How many bad wingsuits were made? Guys just splatted at the bottom. Oh, yeah. Giant feathers. They could be very dangerous if you, uh, you know, you'll have one arm out and the other one in and you just start spinning to the point where you've, right. you'll get knocked out because the blood flow fly up to your head like just because you're wearing that doesn't mean you don't have to pay attention to where your arms are right. and your get, legs how do you get the suit the suit open then oh well, i've seen this one what, the one that goes doing? horribly wrong oh, oh shit he was fooling around doing some gymnastics and then uh he was on like a parallel bar it right oh it's real and the whole thing broke did that guy die did he i don't he's, know he's he's shoot open. Opened. so why was the guy on the ground crying if everyone was all right in the end? that's probably why <laughs> yeah, he read this thing. I would fall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, let me say hi to David in Boston. David. Hey, I just want to make a comment about those exotic eggs in those restaurants. Yeah, you know I am. Yeah, yeah, you know why they don't serve duck eggs anymore? Why? 
the shells are too hard to quack. Ah, gotcha. No, it's because when they would someone would say duck eggs, everybody would hit the floor. <laughs> Expect <laughs> eggs to come flying by. Uh, Plus, too much mayhem in the restaurant. <laughs> Jeff in North Carolina. Jeff. Hey, we were out in uh, Arizona, and then there was like an uh, ostrich farm out there, and it's one of the places served like ostrich omelets and stuff like that. So I had some, and uh, it's very light and delicate. It's very fluffy, airy. You know, it's uh, very tender. It's delicious. You know, the Probably taste prepared is the right. But way. have you had ostrich meat yet? Yeah. Well, I have. I, it's deli It's amazing. Yeah, have you? No. I would assume you would have by I've now. I've never no. had ostrich oh, meat. It, it's it, it's some of the best steak you could ever eat. <laughs> the best is what? when you when you coat your hand in sugar, and then you have an ostrich shit into your palm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jimmy. <laughs> what the fuck? You're not. Why would he do that? You're not going into the Hall of Fame with us. Fuck you. <laughs> Why would he do that? It's just a, it's a delicate thing. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, delicacy. Yeah. Gotta try that. Yeah. Sounds yeah. great. Absolutely. It, there have been a couple guys that have landed without the parachute. I thought so. They attempted that shit. Well, that must be a hell of a grade. Uh, uh, Mike. On the way down. Mikey. Yo. Hi, buddy. I thought hey, I, I thought I heard this. Guys? Good with the the wingsuit or whatever. You, a couple guys have landed without the parachute. Yeah, there's uh, a guy who's landed in cardboard boxes. I believe on a football field. Oh, uh, okay, and I saw that. What do you mean? They piled up a shitload of ca empty cardboard oh, okay. boxes, and he hit that. Oh, that's cheating a little bit. Yeah. Uh, there's also another guy who just did it uh, on water, no parachute. So I know they're both on YouTube. You guys should check uh, them out. I I would uh, think the water one is fake. Really? And if no, you're no. gonna, because that's like concrete. They, everyone always says that. Dude, you're falling at a rate. You're not even doing a. a I don't know what the ratio is, but it's you're falling a lot more feet per second than you're going forward feet per second. Right. But uh, either way, you guys should check it out. And Ant, you should start playing Battlefield instead of Call of Duty. Step yeah. it up, buddy. Battlefield. You got, oh, and, look, I'm driving a tank. Hey, you you got to step it up, dude. I got to step it up. I told you. I got to right. step no it up. Sam, can you make that bigger? No, no, your penis. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one that lands on water. <laughs> Does he use them? The people are all pointing and watching. That's a pretty cool video. That one sure looks badass. Got. Right, wow, yeah. you really are moving fast. I yeah. don't believe that. You don't. You don't. No, nah, the camera it. works too weird. I don't believe it. I don't You're, buy it either. Why? I'm not believing it. It doesn't look right. The camera work is too. Dude, fucking the camera jumpy. work is fucking. Yeah, it's jumpy. There's all kinds of people there. This, that's bullshit. Hmm. That should have been fucking like a great view. If yeah. you're going to do that... You would have, like, four different yes. cameras. Yeah, I think yeah. you're right. That was horse shit. You would uh, set that up proper. Yep. You're <laughs> falling. You're not flying in those suits. You're fucking falling. It gives you a lot of uh, control, and you get more forward motion, but... Can you go up? You're still get No. No. There's Once no way you're... To... No you way. are falling. You are fucking falling. That's fast, too. What's this That's guy crazy. doing? crazy. Uh, this guy's falling out of parachute. He's holding his parachute? Yeah, I think this is the one where... The, oh, come on, what are they doing? The, the, the one guy lets go, and then this guy ha is puts his parachute on while he's falling. That's Holy shit. That's crazy. I would you, never do that. Why would you do that? So do you that see the one with the guy... I'm oh, sorry, do you see the one with the guy jumping out of the plane? There he goes, look. That guy... Uh, well, what the hell? Oh, he doesn't even... Wait, there's no way he held on to oh, that. Yeah. He's just holding the parachute in his hands. Oh fuck! And he pulled, that. He pulled I've never the seen this cord. one. He pulled the ripcord. Now he's just hanging by the. <laughs> Come on, what the fuck? But is he is he tethered at all? Into, no, you're still. I don't, I don't know. It didn't look like he was. Yeah, the guy gives him his parachute, and then the guy pulls the cord. And now he's hanging upside down. And now he's just feet. hanging from his uh, parachute. He's not, uh, you know, connect, connected, connected. Imagine just whoa, and you fall out of it. That's all I'm thinking. Right. So you're just done. Yeah. Oh my god. There's no getting we've, back. We're on. officially bored. This guy has really good fucking <laughs> hand strength, though. That's crazy. It's amazing. That looks real. That one looked real. So we're going to talk to the Everest guy. Yeah. He's going to try a pretty incredible stunt. He's going to jump from the from the top. I wonder how long that. it takes to get down. Is it officially a base jump? Oh, no, you said wingsuit, didn't you? you yeah, said he's going to wear a wingsuit, but it's, I think it's still a base jump. He'll right? be in 
He'll be in studio in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So. Right, correct. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll ask him questions. You heard about the girl Just shaving her head? What she do? Oh, my God. How annoying is that school? It's the, the no tolerance oh, policy bullshit that we've talked about a million times on this show. I, I missed that story. Girl shaves her head. She's a big Jim Norton fan. To show oh. support for her friend with cancer. Oh. Or that. This happens all the time. Sure. I remember growing up, people, people would just shave their head for support for their friends yeah. or their mom or something. Dad, whatever. School tells her a bald head violates their dress code and she can't come back without a wig. School bows to pressure and reverse course. What? Sure. School bows to pressure and reverse. <laughs> I know a place you could go uh, where they stay on, even in hurricane force winds. Sorry. Saw the commercial. Absolutely. Yeah. Seinfeld. They, uh, no, no, Maury's wigs. <laughs> Maury's. Oh, that's right. They, uh, <laughs> yeah, they did buckle, though, as they should have. Mm. The school buckle? You could get it. Oh, God, wig. yeah, they had to. You, it looks pretty good. Check. <laughs> you could get a wig over there, too, though. <laughs> Kids have been shaving their heads for cancer forever. Yeah, yeah but girl's trying to support her friend. Oh, my God. It's a scumbag school wants to do something. Like, what fucking asshole looks at that and goes, yeah, we got to suspend you? That's really So they officially like, did, like, suspend her or tell her she ridiculous. can't come back. I think so, yeah. Until they, you know, did the right thing and figured it out, right? That's this guy wants to mean. sniff Lady Di's ass on the air. She's not here. <sighs> yes, yeah, Exactly. I guess she's doing. Is she doing better? Or the lady die thing. I talked to her yesterday on the post show. Yeah, she's just making excuses as to why she can't get the blood work done that Doctor Steve wants. I, I know she's not doing better. Of course not. I know she's making excuses, right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, she's a drunken goose egg. You gonna yeah. see this guy drop a joke on the people's court? Okay. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. What is these nuts? Don't spoil a punchline, oh, Jim. Uh, oh, Jimmy. Just, oh, sorry. Who cares. I didn't mean to. Well, it's good to see you alive. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this guy was on something. Maybe D hit him. Who knows? He was calling you the suspect. In the you see? You know, I don't I don't know. You like I said, D, D hit him, so it wasn't me. Maybe. What's D? D's nuts. He's this guy's crazy. D what? Huh? D's nuts. Pardon <laughs> The key here is you cannot try the nailed same him. issue in a different court. You get one, oh, one bite I nailed of the him. That will do it for this and case. That's Harvey. So, so these were on the way into filmed the years ago, right? Uh, no, Harvey, do he doesn't still do that He still that does show. it. No, he doesn't. I mean, he films like 100 episodes in one shot. But right. Oh, but yeah. he's still doing it. Oh, he got, him. he got him so bad. Yeah. D's nuts. That's always a classic. He's nuts. Mm. I don't understand the D's nuts. Oh, my friend D's will clear it up for you. Who? D's nuts. <laughs> Get that one, Travis. <laughs> I got it. Got me good. Sam and I love D's nuts. <laughs> yeah, I know you we do. do them all day. <laughs> Eric. I got one. Oh. Yeah. Hey, look. Fucking I. Uh, I have some A's, some B's, some C's, and some D's. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, D's fucking Peckers. What? <laughs> Don't ruin these nuts. <laughs> Eric in Colorado. Hey, guys. Hey, uh, that story you just brought up about that girl. Yeah. The uh, school board voted last night three to one to let her back in. And the guy, the dissenting vote, he's pissed that they let her back in saying that uh, zero tolerance means zero tolerance. The, the guy came off just sound like a complete and total douchebag. Well, can we, can we say, take a look? The guy's obviously an absolute jerk off. Of course. He really is, yeah. If you listen to his comments on that, he just, there, there's like the one radio TV station this morning played like a short clip, and I've heard a longer clip where he, he just sounded like a complete total asshole. Sam, look up. Um, what's yeah, what's yeah. wrong with these people? Cancer wig school dissenting. God, what a scumbag. I would I would homeschool if I didn't have to do all the work, right? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. That's really, a problem right? with homeschooling. Now you're the teacher nah, all of a sudden. What? Fuck that. Exactly. Why is that against school policy? How the, how the fuck are they going to tell you your hair is wrong? Yeah, I don't know. Especially at that age, they're just like kids. Not like a high school like skinhead guy coming in in fatigues. Yeah, it's not like they were trying to get D's to come in. Who? Oh, D's? D's nuts. Ah, oh, damn it. You shit. got us again on that. I Nailed keep them. falling for You're it. You're good. Amazing. Damn. Just as good as our Elmo thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear. I want to hear what the guy yeah, said. Yeah, what happened? All right. Got, this is a news. Let's see the news story. <laughs> Sammy! I like the news story. Play. I did already. Oh. Girl got booted from school for going bald for her friend. 
<laughs> Cameron Renfro shaved her head in solidarity with her friend Delaney Campbell, who's going through chemotherapy. Something the girl's mother called very brave. Friends support each other, no matter what. And this is a very brave little girl, and we should all support her in that, in that fact that she made that decision. And it is a big deal. It's a very big deal. <laughs> it sure is. The school says Cameron broke their dress code because her head was apparently too distracting to the other students. She couldn't go to how class. How was that distracting more the than the first maybe an hour? Well, how about that? They changed, uh, they turned that around after a huge support oh, shit. for both of these girls. Well-placed support. Mm. Who was the one that said I wanted, that's to. what I want to see. Like, yeah, who's the what? one? What? I bet if you asked, they would pass that buck around like they do around here. Oh, no, it wasn't me. It was upstairs. Oh, no, it's policy right. made by... You know, right. But who was the one that said suspend her? What? Oh, that was no, it was a thing. It was a consortium of people and things that we right. they what? never have a person. What? Assholes. Amazing. I want to know the dissenting. I got to hear this guy. Yeah, yeah. if we can find it, we'll play it for you, Jimmy. Yes, yeah, son we'll, of a bitch. We'll take a little look around. Did you uh, look see? Did you see the Nancy Grace thing? I did not. What's I heard that. Oh, oh, you got to. Uh, can I play from here? Or you want to yes, play from I actually play from there. Yeah. Well, we don't like Nancy Grace. What? I don't understand why she has an audience because it seems like most people don't like Nancy Hater. Grace. She's hateable too. She's extremely hateable. Is absolutely right. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's on the Oscar Pistorius uh, trial, and she's blaming it on porno. I know that much. That's right. He was watching mm -hmm. porn that night or whatever. He was watching porn. What? She had a problem with that? Yeah, she wants to make. Not only does she have a no, problem I mean, with that. But she wants to make it... The, did the girlfriend have a problem with it? Reva Steenkamp. I don't think mm -hmm. that it is as much a part of the case as Nancy Grace would like it to right. be. He's obviously a very jealous guy, and they told a, st a story about him at a party. If where he had no legs, you'd be jealous, too. Well, yeah. Oh, if anybody sure. with, which yeah. is most of the earth. I think you would have a tough time with that if you had no legs. Sure. You would, you would put up a good front, but I think deep down inside you'd be, be like, a oh, every day, bit of a like, jealous ah, person. Yeah. Legs. You have a hot <laughs> right. chick like that? Yeah. Right. He's got legs. Especially if she compliments people's legs. Oh yeah. Like if she just if she's always looking at people's calves and magazines. Oh. Look, that guy's got nice toes. Yeah. Oh, and she looks boy. at your spatula feet, breaks out the Pam. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get his sweatpants yeah. for Christmas. Yeah, shorts. <laughs> no Jesus. shorts for you. Feety pajamas. It'd be like not having D's. You know what though? D's what? <laughs> D's. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Shiv will get caught. Shiv gets <laughs> caught Fuck again. Up. I gotta say it though, you see it more and more. That f fake leg is badass. Yeah. It's oh. pretty amazing what they've been able to figure out. When you watch that guy run with those fucking not the spatula legs. No, there's when you watch him run with the spatula legs, it's amazing. Right. But yeah, they're making uh, ones that look they, pretty good. Yeah. But they figured out how to make the knee new, uh, yep. the, the, the fake knee move naturally, and the ankle even. Pretty good. There's, a, there's a roll to the walking now. Yeah. Pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, this is what Nancy Grace had to say. Some, somehow using his cell phone at 1.48 in the morning. Why so look for porn, Dan. Porn. Well, oh, okay. Uh, if it, whatever, what? whatever, yeah, whatever it was for, though, he was claiming that they porn. were asleep <laughs> in bed at 10 p.m. that night. Can you imagine waking up to that voice? Are no. you awake yet? There was porn. Oh, that's a horrendous <laughs> she, voice. Horrendous. Did you hear her try to sneak one in at the end too? Porn. 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 There was porn. What a fucking rub fruit. my feet. Ugh. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Meanwhile, she showed her big tit on national television. Yes, she Remember did. when her filthy nipple came out? Yes, when she was slutty nipple dancing with the uh, stars. Yeah, what that's, type of behavior is that? As much terrible. as I hate her, I don't think that happened. Uh, I don't think she meant that for that to happen. Maybe oh, she I didn't, but she, she did. should have. She wasn't and, cautious enough. And who the fuck was actually turned on by that? Oh, right that, right look there. At that. Look, at that. look at that. Look at that pornographic nipple. She didn't cover it, did she? No. Apparently not, because it's Born. showing. That's probably what that dude was looking at on his phone. Porn. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. God, would you do that? No. Oh, God. No way. She is what a, a fat man. pig. Oh, she's just fun. She's a man. Porn. She, she Porn. Con she continues here. Dan, Nancy, we thank you both. I noticed neither of you want to touch it with a 10-foot pole that he was up trolling the internet for porn just before he kills her, but I'll save that for another day. Actually, Nancy, we just have to get to the weather, but we <laughs> want to thank you for joining us. So, uh, Good for uh, him. Uh, Stupid slob. What do you mean they didn't want to go with that? Whatever. What do you think that's risky to talk about porn being a culprit? Right. I think every single human being wa looks at porn. Not Arn. Nancy Grace. Oh, God damn it. I got a tweeter. 
Tweedly, tweedly, oh, tweedly, nice. Tweedly. I like your uh, tweets, Nancy Grace. I live for them. They are. I fun. wish you wouldn't hold back as much, though. I know. I just I want her to like me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get on her show? Yeah. She is so consistently wrong with every case. Yeah. It's fantastic. I found the name of the guy who uh, voted against letting that girl back in school. Oh. His name's Bill Newcomer. Newcomer? That's yes. not. Yes, it is. I swear to God. There's no way. It's what a Bill is. Newcomer. And what Remember, is? Bill Newcomer cast the dissenting vote saying his decision had nothing to do with the girl. I believe Caprock has a mission and a vision, and that mission and vision <sighs> elevates critical thinking and puts it above emotionally charged decisions. What a fucking hunk of It's not garbage. an emotionally My... charged decision. It's, a, it's the, the right, right decision. Thing. Well, hang on. We're only halfway through. Maybe oh. we'll agree with the next one. Nah. Right. My fear is this sets a precedent and nudges us down a path that we don't want to follow. Oh, Slippery slope. Right, because we, we, we don't have the moral courage to make uh, a decision here or a decision there. It's right. all or nothing. It's got to be. Yeah. Sure. All under one handy umbrella. I f fuck. Are we done with that? Sure. Huh? Yeah. Sorry, I wouldn't hear him. I fucking hate the NFL. Yeah. They're oh, terrible. did you re you reading about the? Uh, yes. Dunk? Yeah, I, I read the that. The fuck are they doing? They're, they're great. They're ridiculous. What the fuck are they doing? They're great. Fuck sportsmanship. I love when a team rubs it in the other team's face. And that isn't even bad. That's just the celebration. fuck are they doing? The separatory. It's separatory. Goal post dunks. I just, I did not see this before yeah, this very yeah, moment. It's a good one. Uh, goal post dunks will draw flags now. You know, a guy scores a touchdown, he goes for that goofy dunk over the goal post with yeah, the football. Yeah, you grab it, slam dunk it. Why is that a problem? Who is bothered by that? I believe they have a problem with using the football as a prop in any way, shape, or form. The um, They made a rule about it a while back. But this one kind of was grandfathered in, the dunking thing. Right. So then they just recently now decided, no, like, that's got to go, too. They don't like they have the a reason for ball it. being used What's as the a reason, Travis? What is the reason? The reasoning is that uh, it, if, you, if you hit the goalpost, sometimes it will make the goalpost uneven. And oh, been, shut up. That's not the times, reason. And there, Sorry. This is ahead. what they're saying. And there have been times, especially last season, where the game had to be stopped because they had to realign the goalpost. There's always a reason. Instead of saying, look, we're a bunch of babies. So now it falls oh. under the, the prop rule, so which that. you could still do like the Lambo leap. That was grandfathered in with the goalpost. Uh -huh. What's the Lambo leap? That's when, where they uh, go jumping into the stands. Yeah, they do that in Green Bay. And But other other uh, yeah. players are not doing it, but it started in Green Bay where they jump right in and the yeah. guys grab you, hold you for a little bit. Well, if give you a nice man hug and then oh, nice. let you go. What are they making the goalposts out of? It's like toothpicks. Right. Yeah, it's, fucking, it's just paper. It's, paper yeah, it's paper, paper but, mache. But if you're a kicker, when you notice it's a little <laughs> off and go, okay, a little off, so I got just a little bit. It's still a goal post. post. Yeah. I got to get it in between those two things. It's papier mache. It's papier, that was it. Papier oh. mache. It's so many references. To <laughs> I know. So they're not allowing you to dunk it. Yeah. Using the ball as a prop or any object as a prop, whether that's the goal post, the crossbar, that will come out. And that will be a foul next season. I love all that shit. Even if it's against your team, you, you respect the, it and love it. Take all the spontaneous fun out of everything. Let's do that. Because you know it's a matter of time before your team gets to shove it in their face. Yeah. I think sportsmanship is very important. Oh, Christ almighty. I think sportsmanship is cool. Oh, Graham. Good for Graham. He's a saint. His name's Jimmy Graham. He's the one that really uh, likes that dunking thing. He says, he tweeted Tuesday, I guess I'll have to lead the NFL in penalties next year. Oh, he is a saint. <laughs> I hope he fucking does it, continues it. He must like doing bad that. Bad example to show the oh, younger people of the country. Bad example for children. Oh. Uh, I wish you would shinkle about shutting the fuck up. Oh, man. <laughs> he also tweeted a picture of... A Photoshop picture of a referee dumping the block is an attempt to dunk a ball over the crossbar. That Did a referee funny. really do that? No, it, it was oh, Photoshop. Oh, okay. But then he later deleted the tweet, so obviously the uh, team or somebody funny. got to yeah. him and said, look, man, get rid of that. Yeah, don't taunt again, them. again, you know, don't fucking have any fun. Oh, God, <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's a it's a sport, we say it every time, where they tr they're trying to remove each other's heads yeah. every single play. Meanwhile, the Jets just signed a fucking 
psychopath. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's just but don't dunk the football. It's in poor don't taste. Don't dunk the football. Drown a dog and electrocute him and, and allow yeah. him back in the league. Yeah. But he yeah. did his time, you know. Yeah. He did, but they, 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 there's so many guys that still have committed felonies. If that's if the NFL wants to clean up these lying scumbags, mm -hmm. anyone convicted of a felony cannot be a part there of your you league. Go. There's your morality like, there you clause. Go. Take football back to the fucking why not? early days. <laughs> but why not? Like, you know what I mean? If, you, if that's how you want to do it, then do yeah. it. Wouldn't spinning the ball in the end zone be using the ball as a prop? Yes. I think I think most of that stuff is becoming a no-no. Are you allowed to even spike the ball anymore? Yeah, but it's it has to be done very, like, Sub I'm, from the, I'm from the 50s or 60s, really right, quick. Right. And just yeah, like, I don't think it can be towards the other team. Right, you can't really showboat it, I think. That came out last year. Can you go into the end zone, put the ball down on the ground next to you, and take one knee like they used to when they scored a touchdown? They had to, like, right. do that wacky little move. I think <laughs> you should be able to walk up to the opposing quarterback's mother in the stand and punt the football up under her skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, that's what you should be. Able to, that's how you should. Uh, that's good. Oh, God. Wouldn't like a nice celebration. I I just don't understand their reasoning on any of this stuff. I don't like. I hate sportsmanship. Because you know, inside they fucking hate the other team and really love the fact they beat the shit out of them. But then they fun. have to go on camera, like you know, I got to hand it to my opponent. You know, they came to they, play, right? But well, we were the better team today. But uh, but no disrespect, because they're a good team, too. But you what know. I'm saying here is that... Well, they're just fucking saying horrible things about them and their family. Of course. Mm. And, and I'm okay with all that. Jimmy Graham dunks the ball because he used to play college basketball. All right, I figured there was oh, there you some go. kind of basketball connection there. Sure. Mm. <laughs> what about this uh, Dan B Bio Bondi? This one... Oh, I, I just... That guy. He's just some guy. I think it's an internet radio show. He does like some uh, conservative radio show. Right. Yeah. And it's in Rhode Island, I believe. And he was outside uh, one of those senator meeting deals. And he got in the senator's face and was asking about the Second Amendment. And I thought the senator's response was very funny. Oh. Yeah, the Second Amendment shall not be in friends. You people need to understand that. Yeah. Go well, fuck yourself. <laughs> Come on, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? That's the senator. Uh, That's the senator's yeah. response. Yes. Good what is him. he? What do you think? Good He's in, in House of Cards? <laughs> Good for him, too. That's crazy. He that guy's getting his... in his face. He, you should be able to say, go fuck yourself. He thought that was his Kevin Spacey internal monologue. Right. Talking to the camera. And and he he it came out, you know, to everybody. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, let me. Uh, let Why me don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> right here in the airport. Yeah, you could fuck yourself right here in the airport. Uh, Steve, the therapist. You guys were talking about the backlash that mm. uh, that young girl got because she shaved her head. Right. Uh -huh. Well. Uh, at uh, Haven Middle School in Evanston, Illinois, uh, they banned leggings and yoga pants. And uh, the girl was saying that it was too distracting for the boys. Oh, um, it's probably true. There's a mix. Well, yeah. That look, and a, that look is amazing, man. Oh, my God. At that age? Every, Jesus. But, no, everybody's walking around now with yeah. just the, the yoga pants on. No, I mean, if you're a boy that age and you got the, your, your classmate girls wearing yoga pants, you're going to be fucking out of control. So, yeah. you say ban yoga pants? No. No oh, good. What no. do we have to look at? No. You had no idea what the girl's body looked like until you took everything off. You went, oh, wow, this is a nice surprise. <laughs> Some of those Sassoon and Jordache jeans looked pretty good. Yeah, that, that did come uh, out. That was pretty good. During um, our time. But yeah, you know, we got, a lot of, like, we got a lot of baggy peasant dresses. And, it was like skirts, like yeah, jean skirts, skirts but and big. shit, and bulky. and Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. 80s sweaters. Yeah, yeah you just had no sucks. idea what the what the body looked like yeah, at all. terrible. And sometimes, whoa, were you disappointed. Yep. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hell? What happened? <laughs> Clothes come off. You're like, oh no! What happened? You look like you're a twelve-year-old boy. What happened? What the hell? What are you patting this way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. That's bad though. When you think they're six. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Steve. All right, guys. Punch it out. Take it. Yes.
Remember the tiger that injured Roy of Siegfried and Roy? Yes. Uh, yeah. Dead. Oh, no. no what happened? Never Dead. know what happened. Died of a broken heart. Oh. Dead. Is that it? He lived another 10 years after that uh, mauling. Sure did. He was a hero in the tiger community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. He was 17. How old is that in, like, tiger years? I don't even know what a Human tiger years is. or whatever. That, how, how do you do that? He was 156, this tiger, huh? Beavis is so cute on the uh, tile floor. I turn the heat up. The, I have a radiant heat on the tile floor. Yeah. And he just uh, lays down and starts doing this roly-poly thing all over the floor. Because he's in pain. So... You're burning him. <laughs> 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 this is an adorable thing when I put him in the oven and load on low simmer. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. It's adorable. I hope, believe me, I, I hope that your relationship with him ends the same way as this <laughs> tiger and fucking Roy. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't want him to rip my throat uh, out. You know what their story on the tiger was? I'm reading that. They're, oh, they're yeah. delusional to this day. Yeah. Well, let me give you a few facts. Uh, tigers live between 15 and 26 years when we uh, have them in captivity. Oh. He was, uh, Manticore was 17, but they did call him Monticore. Monticore. Yeah, after, uh, after uh, they were they were big uh, Monty Hall fans. <laughs> oh, was that it? I stopped the show for that. Yep. Yeah. Horn sixty nine and and partner uh, Zig, uh, Siegfried seventy four have said they believe Monty Core sensed Horn was having a mini stroke and was dragging him to safety. Because he knows what a stroke oh, is. Oh, there you go. Rather than attacking him, animal experts have disputed that theory. There you go. They were in denial, man. I dragging him by his face. Yeah, that's what you do when someone's having a stroke. Yeah, yeah, make it worse. <laughs> grab them, yeah. Make grab it worse. Them by their flesh and yeah, pull. Yeah, yeah, just he, pull. He That's... grabbed his feet and pulled them off because he thought that he was having some sort of a, a heart issue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for nothing. <laughs> I will forever believe it was his concern for my safety and well-being that caused him to act as he did on that night long ago. We spent many hours together, and he never failed to bring me great joy and wonderment. It was Ew. my great honor to be... Uh, beside him at the end. He is now playing with his siblings in White Tiger Heaven. Oh, is that White Tiger Heaven? Mm. That's nice. How, yeah, is, how, is, uh, how is he? Does he speak better, Horn, and all that? He must be I a mess. Know. They, He's fucked up. They give up that gig, dude. No one has really seen him much. I mean, no. He must be a disaster. It sucks. That uh, monkey that ripped the, lady's, skull. ripped the lady's face off, he sensed an ingrown hair. In her nose. Oh, really? Oh, that's all sense. it was. Okay. He was trying to get to it. Grown hair, and he was trying to pull it out. Yeah. Uh, and then he figured he'd use her thumbs to do it, so he had to rip those off of right. her hands. <laughs> no, he thought that her like thumbs were like those little juice tops that you pull off and drink. Oh, you give a little beverage yeah, there? Yeah, he thought there was a delicious beverage in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> those are pictures of him after the accident. Oh, huh? I think so. oh boy. Was that him? Oh, oh, oh boy. He don't look that bad. Well... He looks fatter, right? As opposed yeah, to good. It looks a little, yeah. <laughs> wow. it, looks like, it looks like he's stuck in that facial expression, though. Oh. What a fatso. <laughs> well, Jesus, well, I think Jimmy. it might have to do with the fact that a tiger <laughs> bit Malt his face him, off. Yeah, yeah, really? Tiger. Obviously, didn't bite his fucking, what are they, tiger. had a thyroid gland? <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus. Fucking, how fat is he? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my God. How do you expect the other good-looking one to keep fucking oh, you? Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> keep fucking you. Exactly. What, are they partners? Oh, oh boy, I uh, hope so. Was, uh, Just in business, I'm sure. Oh. Is that uh, the lion yeah. that killed him? Exactly. Or treating each other's cocks like harmonicas. <laughs> Let's see. <how> to... <laughs> Rich in Florida. This goes back to Jimmy's point. Rich, go ahead. Yeah, the uh, Jim Ursay, the owner of the uh, Colts, he was pulled over, I think, last week uh, for DUI and had possession of uh, illegal substance. Faces up to four felony charges. And uh, he's the one that is the notorious tweeter that has his holier-than-thou tweets about shit that goes on in the NFL. And But you don't hear the NFL saying much about that. That's a good point. Very good point. Yeah, where are they on that scumbag owner? Right. He's in Dutch. Thank Boy. you, sir. I think we should get uh, ready for our big interview. With, yeah, I got to go uh, take a How do you say his right? name? J-O-B-Y. Um, Jabi. Jubai. Jubai? Uh, you're lying. lying. You're lying. No, I'm not. You, you look down. Place. You should look down. I'm just telling you. I saw your face. You did this. Cheekiness is coming it out. It is cheeky. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting cheeky. Yes, I am. Why, yeah. did, why <laughs> did you hold it to get cheeky? Because I'm cheeky, boy. <laughs> you got so cheeky. cheeky. <laughs> you fall apart within 15 seconds. Oh. I love it. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Oh, man.
Once again, our podcast is out. Every Wednesday, the Opie and Anthony podcast. So go get it. It's the best of 2004. Or I would call it a taste of two. Can we rename it a taste of 2004? Yes, a, a taste of 2004. Or is it too late to say that? Because that, that, it... that would mean we only had an hour and a half of great material from 2004. Yeah, well, that's stretching. Yeah. It, should say, it should say the best material of 2004 plus an hour. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more Opie and Anthony. Thank you. 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 Thank you.